so I made my video on how to jailbreak the 2.1 firmware about five days ago and it did work it was smooth flowing with a modded version of QuickPone but this is the official release from the iPhone dev team of QuickPone that jailbreaks the 2.1 firmware and on the iPhone iPhone 3G and iPod Touch first gen there is no jailbreak for the iPod Touch second gen yet so don't ask me about that if you're using one of those um, please believe me there will be one soon and as soon as there is I'll post it here on YouTube um, so I'm going to go to the computer screen now to show you how to jailbreak the 2.1 firmware with QuickPone from the iPhone Dev Team. Hi guys, so when you first download the file for QuickPone that I'm going to give you in the link that's in the description of this video, it will say QuickPone 2.1-1 and just use WinRAR or whatever you use to extract the files and you'll get a pineapple that says QuickPone, just QuickPone. Um, when you open it up, it takes a while to open up, just about 10 seconds. QuickPone must detect your device before continuing. Once detected, you can select from one of options. Note that the use of QuickPone in a virtualized environment is not supported. Please connect your device via USB now to continue. So, make sure your iPod or iPhone is connected and as you can see this is completely restored on 2.1 firmware and just click next once it's on to your computer searching for the IPSW it automatically searches for your 2.1 firmware and it always tells you what your device is already so you don't have to choose and this may take a while so I'll come back to you guys when it's done okay it's done and just click next and it'll give you the same options as the original quick pwn add Zydia, add installer and replace boot logos um, I suggest you do replace boot logos just to give your iPod a custom feel and add Zydia and installer will be default just click next please ensure your device is connected via USB before continuing make sure it's plugged up like this and click next wait for iPod to connect in recovery mode and it'll tell you to hold down the home button for five seconds then hold down the home power button for ten seconds do not let go of the home button and it's three two one and let go of the power button continue to hold the home button for twenty five seconds now I'll come back to you guys once it's done because twenty seconds is long boring time and it stops at about 15 and it says wait while your iPod is prepared for jailbreaking once that's highlighted and all dark you can let go of your home button and you're good and I'll say please wait uploading X-Play bootloader and I'll come back to you guys when this is done too and once everything's done it'll say the pwnage process has appear appears to have been completed successfully please wait for your device to reboot in its newly modified state and it should reboot like this with the running pineapple and it's, it should say flashing NOR and it'll keep going along the lines down here on this little bar you should be able to see it on your own iPod and this is going on mine and once this is done I will come back to you once again I know it's getting annoying but I just don't like to make you guys wait through this okay and it's done and it should be completely jailbroken once it's done with the running pineapple logo on your rebooting and once it reboots it should reboot with a metal like pineapple and you should get your home screen or well, your unlock screen and slide to unlock and the moment of truth there it goes nice that is perfect app store Cydia and installer and just to show this is the 2.1 firmware right there where'd it go? alright there 2.1 firmware and that's how you jailbreak the 2.1 firmware with the official release of QuickPone from the iPhone dev team I'm going to enjoy this now fully charged 2.1 firmware with genius 
and many other things, jailbreaking makes it even better. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And as soon as the iPod Touch second gen jailbreak is developed, if it is developed, I will post it here on YouTube. Thanks for watching.